favorite time of the day. It's alpha surprise time. Go ahead and get your alpha surprise jar of Play-Doh out and have the best time exploring your mini objects. Let's see what we have in our alpha surprise this week. It's the letter F. Here's our letter F. Let's take out our uppercase first. We have a green uppercase F. I'm gonna set that right there. See what else we have. Here's our lowercase F. Remember, it looks like a flower drooping. Here's our lowercase F. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, here's your first hint. This is something that grows in a garden. It can be all different types of colors, different types of them. Does anybody know? Usually they smell really good. Not always, but usually. It's a flower. There's a beautiful pink flower with a yellow center to match our yellow lowercase f. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, ribbit. <gasps> ribbit. Do you hear that? It's something that says ribbit. <gasps> it's a frog. Let's see if we can get this out. Whoa, look at that frog. The froggy wants to stay in the play doh. Here we go. It's a pretty orange and black frog. It's pretty big too. Looks like it's about to jump. Okay, the next object is something that swims. You can find them in ponds, in oceans. Some people keep them at their house in fish tanks. Oh, I just gave They're in tanks. What kind of tanks? Fish tanks for your fishy. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, this is something that you usually see in people's yards and they separate someone's yard from another person's yard. So you know whose yard belongs to who. This one is a white one. Anybody know what it's called? A fence. Here's our fence. Okay, we have five objects. Let's see how many we have right now. One, two, three, four. That means we have one more object to find. What could it be? Hmm. Let's see. I'm really digging for this one. Maybe it's hidden in the Play-Doh somewhere. Let's see. Okay, it's pink, and a lot of times when you see them, they're standing on one leg. Does anybody know? Something that stands on one leg. It's a flamingo. Okay, so we have our five objects. So let's get ready to clap out our syllables and see how many syllables are in each of our F words. Remember, the letter F makes the sound <sighs> So let's see what we have. We have fence, fence, just one syllable. Then we have flamingo, flamingo has three syllables. What about frog? Everyone say frog and clap. Can you do it at home? Frog. Frog has one syllable just like 
fence. Okay, now we have flower. Flower has two syllables. We're going to put it right there. So these have one, this has two, and this has three. What about fish? Ready? Fish. Fish only has one syllable also. So we have one, two, three objects that have one syllable. And we have the other objects have two and three syllables. So which group is the largest? Here we go. This group is the largest. Great job. Okay, now last question. Which two groups have the same amount of objects? That's right. Flower and flamingo both have one object in their groups. Great job, so everybody. So proud of yourself for how hard you've worked today. We're so excited to say our favorite goodbye poem. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Got to go, buffalo. Better swish, jellyfish. Chop, chop, lollipop. Gotta run, skeleton. Bye, bye, butterfly. Better shake, rattlesnake. Give a hug, ladybug. Take care, polar bear. Our, Our time, time together, together now ends. Goodbye, good friends.